Okay, good morning guys. Um, yesterday I posted a video about my Harella odorata uh, producing flowers or blooming for me and today I checked it out and saw another of my miniature orchids um, bloom. Um, this is the uh, plural thalis ornata. Um, there. Um, I won't move this too much because this uh, flower is um, in a stem and if I move it, it keeps wiggling it will take a while before I it stops moving and get a, a decent uh, video out of it. Um, but here's a close-up. Um, I bought this from Andy's Orchids and um, okay, let's see if we can get this to focus. There, so as you can see, there's this. Uh, it's a unique flower with those. I call it tendrils. I don't know what is the uh, what it what it's called, but those wide tendril legs or finger like uh, growth from the petals um, gives it a unique look. I, I really am digging the way this uh, flower looks, and from the looks of it, it's gonna be producing another one beside it and another one here. Um, according to the website, it is a uh, free flowering throughout the year, um, and it's an easy grower, I think. Um, but yeah, um, and by the yeah, it seems like it's on the way of producing more flowers because you can see those branches, or I don't know what it's called. Um, yeah, branching out of the plant and might I think will be uh, flowers. This is the first time I took care of this plant, so um, you know. Um, just found out about uh, how they produce flowers and yeah uh, conditions just like the Arello Odorata in my uh, grow tent um, uh, they need to be watered uh, uh, yeah humidity is around 70% uh, in this case this one compared to the Arello Odorata um, it doesn't need to be watered every day or it, it's three to five days um, in my case right now since it's i'm um, giving them a winter break um watering them maybe uh, three times a week only um today is sunday so it's um the dry period dry, dry or uh the no watering day for me <clears throat> for all my plants so uh, that's the other thing um the other, as you can see uh it's well established on this uh, piece of wood with those moss um it does get dry and i let it get dry um but uh yeah so very very happy about the, the way um, this uh, flower looks and the fact that I just got this like I got this um, like after Black Friday so barely a month uh, I had this for barely a month and it's now started to flower so that's a good sign that this plant is healthy and uh, you know coming from Andes Orchids uh, it's healthy, I got it, and it's able to adapt really well in my own growing conditions. So, um, yeah, I just want to share this uh, really nice plant. Uh, again, a miniature. Um, perfect for those people who don't have enough room. In my case, I just have this grow tent, so um, I'm able <clears throat> to control the conditions, the uh, airflow, the temperature, the humidity, and, uh, and instead of like maybe, because there are people who, grows their, who grow their plants in a a window seal which is good I mean, but in my case I am able to make sure to uh, I'm, I'm sure that I'm able to provide the correct humidity all the time and not guessing or anything like that so yeah this is perfect for people who uh, have no not much room for for plants or if they have a lot a large collection already and want to add uh, something unique um, yeah this is this is a cool plant so yeah, that's it guys um i'll keep you updated and uh thank you